What is happening and welcome to another episode of Four Wheel Drive Talk, uh, episode 34. Now friends, we have some very interesting vehicles to discuss this week and we'll also kick it off with a look at the Overland Expo 2022 GMC Sierra AT4X, which is an ultimate overlanding machine. We'll also explore the Sherp, which is a unique ATV with some very brave souls, used it to rock Carl and Moab. Now that is something you gotta see. Now there are also uh, news this week about a new GM patent that could revolutionize how EV trucks and SUVs are charged. Now we're gonna dive into all that in a moment, but first friends, every single week we put a video like this together to keep you informed as far as what is happening in the industry now of course if you can do me a big solid and you know look if you find some value with this video hit that like button down below because friend it really does help with the whole youtube algorithm that said let's get on to this week's headlines Now, as many of you know, a couple weeks ago, I attended the Oberlin West Expo out in Flagstaff, Arizona, and man, it was a epic time. There's always a lot to see and there's a lot to do, and this year, friend, it didn't disappoint. Now, one of the highlights was the Oberlin Expo's juiced up 2022 GMC Sierra AT4X. Now, this bad boy had a 420 horsepower motor and it was a 6.2 liter V8 underneath the hood that put down 460 pounds of torque. Now, it also had multimatic uh, spool dampeners that give the suspension an additional inch or two for travel. Now, there's front and rear lockers and a Magnaflow catback exhaust that just sounded absolutely amazing now the truck rides on 17 inch wheels 33 inch firestone destination mud train tires and firestone ride right springs now the mad scientists over with the overland expo team really outfitted this truck with a ton of upgrades matter of fact they took upgrades in from 21 different exhibitors. Now there's a mid's alloy three foot canopy and a tray that replaces the truck bed and holds a Dominic refrigerator, a eight gallon water can, and supplies geyser system shower in a green go outdoor camp kitchen. Yeah, please, this thing is, again, this thing is really, was quite the, was quite the uh, vehicle there. Now you also get dual lithium ion batteries that get power from solar panels on the roof. You, the electrical system is managed by a Red Arc Red Vision Manager 30. Now as many of you know, this is the exact same system that I'm running inside my Turtleback and this thing kicks ass. Now inside the vehicle, you get crew cab space and with the Denali trim package, it's as luxurious as you can get. Now the truck is caravanning around the US and will be at the Pacific Northwest, the Mountain West and the East shows. So if you're gonna be at the attendance of any of these shows, be sure you check this thing out. Now once it's toured all the Overland West Expos is over, the truck will be auctioned off to benefit the Overland Expo Foundation charity, which strives to preserve outdoor spaces. No, it's a great truck that benefits a great cause. Now, one of the concerns about EV trucks and SUVs for overlanding is the need to recharge the batteries with much more frequency due to the powering a vehicle that has tons of weight on board and potentially towing a trailer. But GM has a new patent that looks like it could help make recharging much more convenient and a less time consuming process. Essentially, GM wants to include two charging ports on its vehicles. Since the battery packs for its trucks and SUVs could run serial or parallel, this gives you the option of charging the batteries as a single unit or as two separate units. So you might use a single 350 kilowatt charger to charge a whole battery at once, or what you could do is use two 150 kilowatt fast chargers, run the battery packs in parallel and charge them both simultaneously. So this setup would even allow you to charge the truck or SUV batteries pack in a series at 800 volts. And since the, the second port of the truck is bi-directional, you could plug the truck into another truck and charge that one as well. Now on top of that, the patent shows how both ports can be converted to 800 volts, making the charging process blazing fast, lightning fast. So when you're pulling a heavy trailer for extended overlanding ex expedition, having this kind of charging flexibility is gonna make a world of difference. Now, let's be real here. A patent doesn't mean that anything is actually gonna be made. So we'll have to wait to see if this idea makes it to the real world. Now, one of the most interesting and scary videos I've seen lately is rock crawling in a Sherp. Now, if you've never heard of a Sherp, friend, you are missing out. After you watch this video, get over to YouTube and type in Sherp, and friend, 
you're going to be entertained. These things are a go anywhere. You know what? It, it's funny because I just saw a video last week of some people. Where were they? In some river, I think, up near Chicago or New York. I forget where the hell they were. And so it's funny that we're covering this story here of this Sherp out at Moab. So basically, guys, it's a big, burly ATV that has no suspension, no steering wheel, and its front wheels obviously don't turn. Look at it as... It, it maneuvers like you would with a tank or a bulldozer. And because this thing is huge beast with gigantic wheels, it can go up and over pretty much any terrain. And again, when you jump over to YouTube, you'll see you know, these swamps that nothing else on earth can get through. And these Sherps can make it through like there's nobody, like it's nobody's business. It's pretty entertaining to watch. And speaking of which, it can even float because it has incredible buoyancy and these wheels serve as paddles. But the rock crawling is not something I've never seen it. And it's not something you would associate with a vehicle like this. So as you can see in this video on the screen, the Sherp actually does a pretty good job of crawling over Moab's tough terrain. What really is helping this thing out is having the onboard tire inflation and deflation system it really does help with this. But at the end of the day, I don't know about you, but I think I'm going to stick to my Jeep for off-roading and let the more adventurous folks take the task of navigating the Sherp over the rough trails. Still looks like a fun ride though, doesn't it? Leave a comment below. And actually what I'll do is I'm going to put a link to, in the description if you want to learn more about this unique vehicle. All right, friends. Well, that is all we have for this week's uh, four-wheel drive talk. Now let's shift gears and talk about our prizes. Now we have a Camp Moon uh, camping folding chair. We have a Powerlix sleeping bag. And of course, the $100 Amazon gift card. As always, entering the giveaway is really simple. Step one, like this video, subscribe to our channel. Step two, leave a comment below. In fact, the more of our videos that you watch and leave a comment on, the more chance that you have to win. So get watching some of our other videos and leave a comment or leave more comments. Step three, register on 4 Drive Talk and introduce yourself in the forum. Now, if you happen to register on the site during one of the last giveaways, you're still eligible to win, but as I keep saying over and over again, swing and by, say hello. We would love to see you. And friend, that is it. For complete details on the giveaway, including how to register on 4-Wheel Drive Talk or how to say hello in the forum, check out the description below. Good luck. Well, there you go, guys. 4-Wheel Drive Talk episode 34 is in the bag. As always, friends, it's an honor to get in front of you every single week and share these little news nuggets. So it's that time of the video where I'm going to ask you, well, you know, I'm going to ask you if you found some value. If you want to do us a solid, it's basically time to do all that YouTube stuff. So please consider hitting that like button, the subscribe button. If you're not uh, already subscribed, then last but not least, so therefore you don't miss a single video that we push out, hit that bell and uh, YouTube will do the rest there for you. But friends, I'm going to be jumping out of my studio so you get out there, stay healthy, and find your adventure.